great Tesla fan, let's dive into how you can actually set up and use your Tesla's USB ports, guys, for both charging, okay, both charging and a media storage. So whether you need to charge your devices or just store music and videos, I got you covered, guys. So I've added an outline of steps for you at the top left. You can follow along there. Basically, guys, first things first, you want to locate the USB ports, right? Find the USB ports in your Tesla. And depending on your model, you either find them in the center console, glove box, or under the armrest, okay? Either the center console, glove box, or under the armrest. So they're typically marked with the USB symbol. Now, to charge your device, you simply want to just plug your USB cable into one of the available ports. You know, if you're using a, a USB-C or a USB-A cable, make sure you're using the correct type based on your device. And once you connect it, guys, your device should char start charging automatically. You can check the status on your screen to ensure that it's charging. And for media, guys, what you want to do is you want to grab a USB drive and plug it into the port, right? So Tesla actually supports bo both audio and video files, and you want to actually make sure that your media files are actually saved in the appropriate folder format for Tesla's system to actually read them. Usually, it's in a folder called Tesla Cam or Music, all right? And once your USB drive is actually connected and your media is properly set up, you just want to go to the media section on your Tesla's touchscreen. You know, go to the media player. Here you'll find your music and videos are basically ready to play. You can also access the dash cam footage if that's on the same drive. And that's it, guys. Now you're all set to charge and enjoy media in your Tesla. So go ahead, guys. Hit that link in the description, guys, to upgrade your ride even further. Make sure you subscribe to the channel.